Hi, and welcome back to our video lecture series uh, for our Smart Systems course. We're going to be continuing our tutorial of Power BI. Power BI stands for Power Business Intelligence. It's a great data visualization and dashboarding tool where you make these incredible interactive visuals to help you really gain appreciation for data. Um, it lets you really draw conclusions from data. So we're going to be digging in a little bit more. Um, if you're just starting on this video, I recommend that you maybe go back a couple of videos to Power BI Part 1 and start from there. Um, if you want to use the data that we are that I'm using in this tutorial, you can download that in CSV files just in the video description below. All right, so continuing on where we left off last time, uh, we had created this visual. This is for a an automotive dealership uh, selling cars, SUVs, trucks, and vans, and we created um, bar charts to show total sales by quarter, but you can drill down and get month. You can also look at the data, just the complete time series of the data. So, so far we've been doing a lot where we're just uh, showing different visualizations of the data, and now I want to start digging into what kind of conclusions could we draw from this data. So if you notice, especially when we're looking at the time series here, I think this visualization is important um, to differentiate from this one. So notice when we're looking at the whole year, it is very noisy data. There's a lot of randomness. You can't really control when people are coming in to buy vehicles. Um, but notice that there are these spikes in there. And these spikes seem to see seem to be fairly regular. So one thing that you might think is that maybe there is an effect of whether it's a weekend or a weekday. So we want to know, do people tend to come in more on a Saturday and Sunday to buy a car, or are they doing it during the week? And I just want to warn everyone, this is kind of made up synthesized data by me, so I have no idea <laughs> what it's really like, but we can test this hypothesis at least based on this synthetic data set. Um, so we can certainly, you can zoom in and you do see, yeah, these patterns, they are irregular, but you do see the totals tend to be higher in these fixed frequencies. So if you're working at this for this company and you wanted to report to management, um, you could drill down even more, look into more of the detail here. So one column that might be useful is a calculated column where I'm going to go here into my auto sales and actually I'm going to show this from the table view. So I'm here in the table view. Remember last time in the last video we created a calculated column of vehicles that just so totals up the other columns. Well, one thing I want to do is I want to create a new column that tells me whether that particular day is a weekday or a weekend. So I'm going to go over here to Auto Sales. I'm going to highlight it and then right click and go to New Column. So let's lets me type in a formula here. So I'm going to call this Day Type. So this is Day Type and I want to use, let's just keep it simple. Let's look at Sundays first. So I'm going to use an if statement. So I'm going to say if and now I want to get this auto sales table and specifically the date column. And I, I want to use this other formula called weekday. And what weekday does is it looks at a timestamp and it tells you what day of the week is it with a one for Sunday, two for Monday, and so on until se uh, seven for Saturday. So I want to say if, so this, this calculated column is going to look at this date and it's going to say if the if this weekday is equal to 1 then i want this column to display uh weekend otherwise i want it to just display let's just do nothing for now so i'm going to come here and click commit so it's going to calculate this column and you can see it does go down and it labels every sunday as a weekend it doesn't do anything for the other days because we haven't told it the else part of this. So here, I can just call this a week day. And I can go here and commit. All right, so now I've created this column and we can just check here. Here's a Sunday, it is a weekend. We need to do this for Saturday as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in an or statement. So if this is, if the auto sales date is one for Sunday or a seven for Saturday, then I'm gonna label it weekend and otherwise I'm gonna label it weekday. So I'm gonna come in here and do this embedded or statement here. So I have if uh, this condition is true or this other condition is true. So I'm gonna use that same weekday formula. I'm gonna get 
the date column of my auto sales table. And I'm going to say if that is 7, and I'm going to end this or statement and put my comma in there. And hopefully, there's a lot of things you can do wrong here, but hopefully this works. Okay, so you can see, yes, yeah, Saturday is now labeled a weekend, Sunday is now labeled a weekend, and then the others are labeled weekday. So I think we did that correctly. Okay, so that may seem like kind of a pointless exercise, but let's look at what kind of additional insight that can give us. So I'm going to create a new type of chart. Again, before I create this chart, I'm going to just click in the blank white space here and go to add in a scatter chart. And here I want to plot, uh, let's say, trucks. I want to put trucks on the on the y-axis, and I want to put just regular passenger cars on the x-axis. So I don't want to plot the sum. I want it to I, I want to plot all the data. So I'm going to go to don't summarize. All right, so this gives me a big scatter plot, and we could look for relationships between the number of cars and the number of trucks. Now you can see generally we do tend to sell more cars, so this note that the cars goes from zero up to a max of 32, whereas trucks goes from a zero up to a max of just 10. Okay, so this may not be particularly helpful. I don't know if there's any particular correlation between car sales and truck sales. However, one thing that we can do is we can add a legend here. So notice these fields, these. Uh, we can add in the values, we can add x-axis things, y-axis things, legend, size, play axis, tooltips. We're just going to look at the legend for now. I'm going to take this new column that we just created in our data table, and I'm going to drag that here into the legend. And what that does, because legend, or sorry, day type ha alternates between weekday or weekends, that allows me to categorize these. Um, while I have this plot selected, I'm going to go up to the Visualizations tab and go to Format my, my Visual. I'm going to go down to Markers and Color, and I'm going to give the weekend something a little bit more distinguishable, like this orange. Okay, so now we can start looking at this data. We can start to analyze, is weekend are weekend sales versus weekday sales uh, important? And, and you can see... Yeah, I mean, there are some days on the weekend where you have kind of a dud, like this particular day. It is a weekend. We sold one car and three trucks that day, so that was kind of a slow day. Um, we could actually look at what day that was. So that looks like it was uh, in the first quarter of February, or sorry, in February at some point. We sold a bunch of SUVs that day. Um, anyway, so we do have that kind of a dud day, but let's go back. Um, Let's get out of our filtering. We can so here you can click on the legend now. We can just we can highlight just sales on the weekend, or we can highlight just sales during the week. So let's look at weekend. So we sold 3,631 vehicles on the weekend for a whole year. During the week, we actually sold quite a bit more than that during the week. But however, if we look closer at this data, notice that the the times when we have the highest number of car sales, notice that those all fall on a weekend. Same for trucks. Every time we have a high number of sales for trucks, those that falls on a weekend. So it does seem like weekends at least help us to increase the max number of sales. But we might want to do a little bit more digging and start looking at what are our average sales on a weekday versus a weekend. And notice this data is kind of skewed, like here. A weekend is only two out of the seven days, but we still sold 3,600 vehicles on two, two sevenths of the year, basically whereas during a week it's five-sevenths of all days would be weekdays, and so we sold 6,100. So one thing that I would do is um, this scatter plot. I mean, we can draw some conclusions from that, and it's really easy to create. It's really easy to look at and analyze. We might try a different chart, and so I'm going to actually do another stacked column chart here, except instead of putting time on the x-axis, I am going to put day type on the x-axis. So day type shows up here on the x-axis, and now what I want to do is I want to recreate this stacked column chart. So I'm going to add in cars. I am going to add in SUVs. And I'm specifically trying to do it in the same ordering so the, same, so the colors all line up. I'm going to add in trucks here. And I'm going to add in vans finally. OK, so here we can see, OK, well, so this is just plotting that same data that we saw over here. So we are selling more than 6,000 vehicles during the weekday. So what might be more useful, again, would be to look at averages. So I'm going to go here and just look at the average sales 
during weekdays versus weekends. Okay, so now just notice now that flips. Now you can see if we're just looking at averages, I'm selling many more cars on the weekend. So on average, I can highlight this column. Um, this tells me that on the weekend, I'm averaging about 34, 35 vehicles a day. If I go here, and this shows me I'm averaging about 23 and a half vehicles a day. So there's definitely something about the weekend. People are not at work, they have time on their hands, they're out shopping for cars much more frequently on the weekends than they are during the week. So these visualizations are just are really fun, but you can draw some pretty important conclusions and actually you can use these conclusions to better inform how you should run your business because you're taking a closer look at the data and analyzing it. Um, but Power BI makes it really easy to do all of this.